Hey guys, Joshua Kadamu here with another Gundam MSA review. And today we're reviewing Mobile Suit Gundam Epion from Gundam Wing. It's the old original instruction sheet. Epion's uh, a name that kind of means something along the lines of devil. And so you guys see the resemblance there with the, you know its horns or ears, whatever you want to call them, and its wings and reddish color. It was developed by Trace Kushranana, and Hiro Yui was the first person to pilot it. And that is my favorite episode of all of Gundam Wing, where Hiro just goes berserk and starts killing everyone. Ally, enemy, it doesn't matter. Just kills everything. You see Epion, he's like, boom, 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 boom. And the camera just falls. Just everything's exploding and dying and dead. Oh, I love it. Epion actually has no ranged weapons whatsoever. No head Vulcans, no chest Vulcans, no missiles, no beam, sa er, beam saber, but no beam rifle, no machine guns, nothing. He's got just this huge sword right here, which is green and translucent, has an energy cable hooking it up to the body, kind of because it needs more energy than, say, a normal beam saber. And it's quite huge. Might even the only thing I can think of that's really a better beam saber size wise would be double Zetas. So, you know, out of everything, this is a huge saber. And it ends up cutting um, Space Fortress Barge down the front and killing the whole barge, making it explode. So it's quite a threat. Zex Marquis ends up piloting this later as Hero trades with him for Wing Zero. Now, this whip is awesome. This is a heat energy whip. And so it hits things and just slices right through them, makes them explode really big and really fiery. Absolutely love it. So let's cover the articulation. The head can look up and down. It can spin 360 degrees. The torso can spin 360 degrees as well. The wings can move up and down and in and out. The knee joint is fairly limited. Moves that far forwards, that far back, and uh, foot is on a ball joint. Now, there's two different versions of the version 1. There's one with gold trim and one with yellow trim, just to know. And there's also a version 2 of the Epion, which comes in a much darker color and turns into its dragon mode which is really cool as well. But I kind of like the color scheme on this one a little bit better than the version 2, even though the version 2 is indefinitely a, an amazing figure, or definitely an amazing figure. The uh, legs go this far back, or forward, sorry, <laughs> that far back. They have some decent flexibility in there. The hands turn 360 degrees, the arm can turn 360 degrees up here, and the elbow joint can do about 90 degrees. The shield only goes on the left arm, but the whip is quite cool. There's a little joint here inside the shield. You can see that, and that's how it works. The, the Tall Geese 3 has a whip very much like this, but it's actually a little bit more flexible than this one. Epion is by far Probably my favorite mobile suit in all of Gundam. Gundam Wing is not my favorite series, but Epion certainly is. So, I'd like to know, what is your favorite mobile suit down below from Gundam Wing? Uh, what is your favorite suit that appears in Gundam Wing? And, if you like Gundams, please check out our eBay store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below in the more info area, and we get new stuff all the time. We have all kinds of cool toys, not just Gundams. And uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe for more awesome reviews. Catch you guys later.